we are at our house. We're going to pray over it. We're going to bless our house. We haven't done that yet. Yep. Maybe that's why we haven't got our permits. <laughs> <laughs> I just tore this stud out of here. See where all those nails are? And that goes right into the garage. And I want to have a door in there. And I want to put this door in there. It may not be the final one, but just to get it going, just to get it started. That door right there. Nate decides to build an opening from the living room into the attached garage so that we can go in and out of the garage from the house. Okay, the hole's good. Still gotta take that out, but I got stuff in the way on the inside. But for now, coming along. He places a temporary door there until we can finalize our plans for how we really intend to design the space. Around the same time, the city began working on the sidewalk in front of our house by removing it and paving a new one. They're tearing up the sidewalks, it looks like. I'm not sure exactly what that's, wow. Big piece of cement. I don't know if they're tearing them all up or not, but uh, we'll find out. Bye bye, sidewalk. Don't come back. Don't drop that. Come out there. Show you how to do this if you do, son. Put it in there. Nice. There you go. Atta boy. Okay, so two sections of sidewalk gone, man. How weird. That can't be good for the road, that big old heavy thing. I'm not sure why, but we wished that we knew then that we could have contacted them to see if they could cut the curb to line up with our driveway since they were redoing it anyway. When we had a meeting with the city later, they told us that we could have put in a request for them to review the new curb cut that we were proposing. But at that time, we really weren't ready to come up with those plans. We missed the boat on that one and not sure we're gonna actually pursue that in the future because it's probably gonna cost a lot of money. So we'll see about that one. I set up a little station here to remove nails again. That's what these are. I can add more if I have longer boards, but I'm going to set them on top of here and then I can stand up while I remove nails. Nate continues to work on salvaging the old original wood we found in our house from the floorboards to the trim and even the ceiling. He still has to remove nails from them and then a big task for him is to organize everything in the garage later. But it's so exciting to see how much we were able to salvage and now we can reuse it. Yes, let's go zero waste. I'm your zero waste girl. Don't even get me started on that topic because I will talk your ear off about that and composting and so much more. We're just trying our best to be resourceful and not waste anything as much as we can. And then uh, I made a door here yesterday to go to the garage, garage day. All this here, I removed the nails already. I'm gonna have to re find a place to put all this stuff because I just made this hole in the wall and uh, it was all leaned against this wall. So I'm gonna have to find a place to put that. All this is what I'm targeting today. So these are floorboards full of nails and stuff. And um, several of them are trim. And then over here, smaller pieces, broken pieces. So I gotta, I gotta take nails out of these and organize it and then clean up this garage. It's ugly now, but it's going to be purty later. I get a tour of the new door in the living room that's attached to the garage and get to see all the wood that Nate has salvaged and how he is beginning to organize it in there. Hey, what's that door? I put a door in our house and this goes into the garage and we wanted this because uh, when you come home from work, you don't want to have to close or walk all the way outside, close the door and walk around and come in. And then if we want 
And then if you want something from the garage in here in the house, you can just go through the door. So this Very is our easy. garage door and house entry. Yeah, it's going to be framed in nice and everything. It's just I threw it up here real quick and easy. So this so, leads into the garage. Yeah. How cool. So the garage is uh, under construction, of course, but it's coming together because you can actually stand in here now. What did you do up here? I put all these wood that we saved from the house reclaimed wood um, everything had the nails tore out of it staples anything that was in it uh, and i stacked it up here because they're pretty big pieces and uh yeah and then some go all the way across the whole garage <laughs> in the very back there and then i did this with the floorboards and some trim i those are smaller pieces i removed the nails today and then over here this is mixed together with basically old trim and floorboards. So I'm going to go through here and remove all the nail screws, staples, anything that's in there that don't need to be. I got to take that out. It's going to be quite time consuming. Wow. But uh, it, once we get all the nails on everything, we can stack it on top of each other as opposed to the nails keep it from being even. You see how this is all a more level, right? So it'll be organized and it'll be easier to work with and it'll save a lot of space. So, yeah. Are you cold? Freezing. So this is going to be really cool when we're done. The pot? Bye. What's that pot? We don't want no pot around here. <laughs> Why is there a pot on the floor? Uh, it's just a pot. <clears throat> okay, let's go back in because I'm cold. It's freezing in here. Wow, I am really impressed by his salvaging and organizational skills. Good job, Nate. Since this is the first home we've ever purchased in our whole lives and we haven't moved in yet, we thought this was the perfect time to bless our home. To ask God to bless and protect this very special gift that was provided to us which in itself is a miracle story. Even to this day, we still question how we were able to land such a small, cute house in an urban historical neighborhood with an old school country feel. You can just call me a city girl with a country heart. I love the conveniences of the city, but I also really appreciate the grounded, homemade living and nature of the country. We get to experience a bit of both worlds here. What a blessing. We are at our house. We're going to pray over it. We're going to bless our house. We haven't done that yet. Yep. Maybe that's why we haven't got our permits. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get this job rolling on here. We, but the main thing we want is we want this house to be blessed by God. Yes. We're trying to do everything the right way we can. Not everything is going perfectly right but as you can see we want to we want to be blessed and we want this house to be a blessing we have some oil here we're going to use that's uh, like an probably, anointing oil i think it's from israel okay like an anointing oil anointing right oil. it probably has some like oily stuff in it uh fragrance it's a, like a fragrant oil yeah so let's pray over this house so okay. abba father we lift up this house to you we thank you for blessing us with this house uh sometimes it seems like a curse but we're gonna, we're gonna believe it. We're gonna trust that it's a blessing, and it's gonna be turned around, and it's gonna be one of the centerpieces of this whole neighborhood. Hmm, I like that. One of the most um, alluring homes that people want to stare at because it's so cool. So Lord, we just pray that you would be the architect here and help us to design it, to build it. Yes and to fix it all up and we just anoint this house in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and over every doorpost there was a nail there and I didn't even cut myself that's how cool it was as we were working on applying for a permit with the city to renovate our house 
we had to also get approval from our Heritage Commission on any exterior changes that we were going to make, like the windows we were planning to replace. There were so many things to think about and to get done. What a journey it has been and will continue to be. these pretty red flowers. They look like mini roses. And there's another one. Hi ladybug. I see you now. Wow, you're big. You're a good climber. If you want to read more about this journey and see additional photos and more information, check out our blog, journeydowntheroad.com. You can also pick up a free small space living guide there. To see more adventures on our Fixer Upper journey, click on the screen to check out those videos next. If you are enjoying this content and want to see more of our progress ahead, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for joining us on this journey. There's our sink, apron sink from 1936. So it's two years younger than this house. So it's spot on.